Hello, this is RPGLPs, and welcome to my next main LP. Welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy II. Oh, it's good to be back, viewers. It's good to be back. Took a couple days off to get preparation for this LP, so let's get started here. Now, the interesting thing is we get to name our characters right from the beginning. Uh, there it is. This guy's name is Fryan Fryan Yell, but I'm just gonna call him Furion because that's all the spaces we can have for his name. So yeah, that looks good. And when you're ready to go to the next name, you just click the that little button there. Now this guy's name is uh, I believe it's Lion, yeah, Lion Heart or Leon Heart. I'm just gonna stick with Leon, just like in uh, Final Fantasy One. Oh, this girl's... Oop. That's not what she's named. Her name is Maria. And the last person name is Guy. Now, this game was originally never released in the United States. But... Holy cow, we start off with... 778 damage over a thousand damage right there. What the hell? Okay, run. Crap. No, obviously, that's a uh, scripted battle, viewers. You have to die there. <laughs> I love this game, though. It's so brutal, especially in the beginning. Yeah, a lot of people have never gotten to play this game for themselves, and you will regret it. Now, one of the huge reasons why I love this game is the terrible translation issues with the um, uh, Japanese to English. Kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy VII in a way, with a lot of grammar mistakes, but I love it for that reason. Yeah, and we actually don't have a silent protagonist. He actually talks. Yeah, I'm alive. And where is Leon? Now, if you've never played this game before, there is a huge learning curve ahead of us in the near future. Oh, this girl's name is uh, Hilda. It is dangerous to go alone. We need to go back home. Yeah, we have no place to go back. If we know the password, we can live freely in this town. And the password is Ivy. If you're playing a different translation, the password is Wild Rose. Now, the interesting thing about this game is the way you advance the plot is actually with passwords, which is kind of odd for a Final Fantasy game. But if you see one of those in brackets, like Ivy is there, you want to note, you want to click note and go over to Ivy and note it. So now you have that in your inventory to say. So let's ask her about Ivy. Ivy is the emblem of Finn. Some say that the captives are kept in Finn. Oh yeah, okay, we'll have to keep an eye out for Leon. Anyways, let's talk to a couple people around here. This guy's name is Ming Wu, and he can see our future. Go to Finn. Let's ask him about Ivy here. Okay, yeah, that's what you want to do though. If you have an option to ask somebody about Ivy, you always want to do it. Go to Village Gathea in North first. <laughs> oh, I love this game. You need canoe to go over Large Lake. <laughs> okay, let's head on out of here. Now, there's nothing over there, so don't worry about it. Let's just head south. Okay then. Prince Gordon of Kingdom Kashayan is in the Alpe is in this Alpea. Okay, we'll talk to that girl down there in just a second. Let's head up here. And right here, we in the treasure box we found cure, not to be uh, confused with the spell cure. Uh, that's actually an item cure. It does the same thing as a potion. Okay. Let's head on out here to the main town. 
He is a famous M Mr. Paul. He can steal anything, and he's working on the Empire's safe. Let's ask him about Ivy here. Oh, and he only steals from the Empires. They apparently they took his house in Finn. Those bastards. Okay, this is the town of Altea. How long will us be safe? Well, with that grammar, I have no idea. Probably pretty short. No. Anyways, what we want to do, we want to actually head over here. Tabool is in the weapon shop is a good blacksmith. Okay, we'll have to check that out. Let's head into the weapon shop. Oh, he's just an ordinary man. Let's ask him about Ivy. He was just disguising himself as an old man. How do you disguise yourself as something you already are? And he's uh, the smith. and he, Apparently he's hanging out around the weapon shop. Now in this game, there's different... It's kind of like Final Fantasy V. You could say that. Um, there's different types of weapons that each character is either really good at or they're not. And I'll be going over this stat in a tutorial episode next episode. But for the most part, I'm going to have Furion work on lances. That's the way I like to go. Now, I will tell you this, later down on the road, we will get a character that has, uh, that starts with a knife, and I'll pretty much want to work with him on knives. Now, Maria, you pretty much never want to be using bows in this game. Notice she starts with a bow. You really never want to be using bows because you want to always be using shields to help on your evasion rate. And your evasion rate is cr your evade rate is critical for stuff later on down the road. And for guy, he pretty much has the highest power or attack you could say. I'm not gonna bog you down in the tutorial episode next episode with, I mean, cause I could, cause it's a huge learning curve. But no, for the most part, you just basically want to give all your black magic to Maria some white magic to Furion, and have Guy be your main damage output. And have Furion back him up with that. Anyways, I'm not going to go into too much detail right now. Let's just head around here. I will be buying new stuff uh, at the weapon and armor shop. Now here's the inn. Unlike the first game, we can actually get Phoenix Downs in this game, where we can revive each other outside of uh, the inn. Just like the first game, there's the item shop here. Let's talk to this guy. He is Gordon. He was once a Prince of Kashan. <laughs> but now, just a coward. Okay. Ask him about Ivy. Oh, you join them. Well, who's Hilda to you? I have no idea. Paul is not a bad person. He is a thief, but only steals from the Empire as well. I guess that's true. Right down there is the white magic shop, or... In this game, there is no, I believe there's no black magic shops. That's just the magic shop, so. Anyways, it's heading here. Now, this is where you want to go. You want to talk to this statue here. If we were dead, it would automatically revive us. Now, you cannot just go to the inn and, if you're dead and revive all your characters. No, no, you have to actually go to that statue there. And let's check out one last thing. I wanted to save this till the end. I believe this is the correct way I'm going. I hope so, or else I'm wasting 30 seconds of your time, viewers. <laughs> yeah, let's head in here. Hey, there's a dying king. Let's talk to this dying king. His daughter Hilda is taking his place. Talk to her. So apparently, Hilda is the princess. Yeah, when a, when a character or an NPC you ask has a question mark, that means they have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Probably because he's a dying king. Yeah, and he was wounded by an arrow. He is too old. Okay, then. Okay. King's bedroom. <laughs> Straight and to the point. I like it. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, this game is just full of grammar mistakes. It's just hilarious, some of the stuff they say. 
But that's all time I have for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 2! Next episode, I will be going over all the statistics and everything about the game. This is RPGLPs, heading out. I'll see you next time!